Welcome to another episode of Tom Play Samantle. We're joined here with fan favourite Sarah. Say hi, Sarah. Hi, Tom. Who has kindly cosplayed for us today a very famous painting. You might recognise it. It's one of Van Gogh's best. Tom, it's Vermeer. Vermeer's best. Girly pearly earring. Tom, girl with a pearl earring. It's girl with a pearl earring by <laughs> Vermeer. She's going to be helping us out today by reading out some interesting art facts. Will that help us find the mystery word? Show Sarah some love for the effort she's put in by liking the video. Let me know how you went on today's puzzle and let's get guessing. Sarah, first, Sarah, first art fact. Did you know there are only 35 paintings attributed to Vermeer? He usually paints things such as domestic scenes milkmaids or domestic chores, if it was done in today's society, would be rather inappropriate. Right, Tom? I support women's rights. Tom does all the housework. I'm domesticated. I mean, that's a lie. Did you know that art used to be an Olympic event? Ooh, art is close. How fitting. We got an art-related <laughs> word, and this is amazing. Woohoo! <laughs> Go for Mia. <laughs> Olympic is good as well. Ooh la la. We're artsy, but we're sporty. We're like the Spice Girls. We're the Spice Girls. Who are you, Tom? Baby Spice. <laughs> Why, Tom? Sporty Spice. I'm obviously Bosh! <laughs> Bosh Spice. <laughs> For every girl, spice up your life, people of the world. Spice no, up you your know life. more than I thought you would. Spice up your life! Yeah, enough Spice Girls, let's finish up our Olympic fact. Between 1912 and 1948, medals were given out for sporting-inspired masterpieces of architecture, music, painting, sculpture, and literature. Related words there, but not any closer than art and Olympic. We are going to pivot to some sports facts because Olympic is close. I think sports words might be close. Sorry for the art dress up, Sarah. Did you know that golf balls on average have 336 dimples? Spot on with our uh, sports related ideas because golf is very close. Did you know that ski ballet used to be a competitive sport? Board and ballet, not bad. Not as good as golf. Did you know a badminton shuttlecock weighs approximately five grams? Oh, badminton. Look at badminton, Sarah. It is so close. Shuttlecock. Hmm. I think we should find some more racket sport facts and put them in there. I think you should try racket, Tom. What's that racket? Racket is spelled. You can spell it both ways, Sarah. No, you know, we're both right now. We're both right in our own ways. <laughs> Let's move on. Did you know that tennis swings were originally made from the intestines of cows, sheep, and goats? So for today's mantle, I wasn't really dressed up as a girl with a pearl earring. My go-to look was actually Serena Williams. <laughs> She's very stylish, Tom. Shall we start the video again <laughs> But you talk about being Serena Williams? <laughs> Did you know the first nuclear reactor was built on a squash court? Did you know that Renoir used to favour painting scenes of croquet players? It's true. Oh, really? <laughs> Study for the croquet game. Wow. Uh, artwork by Pierre. I mean, I knew that. Renoir. See, Tom? Tom, I knew that. Art genius here. Thank art you. genius. Like, who would have thought Posh Spice knew so much <laughs> about the art world? Wow. Yeah, please put that in. I'm just trying to find all the similarities between art and sport. Did you know that in volleyball, a player will jump an average of 300 times per game? Did you know that the maximum number of holes allowed in a bowling ball is 12? I think I deserve a medal for this performance. Number one, art, sport, guesser, connoisseur. Tom, medal. The word medal. <laughs> she wants me to put in the word medal. <laughs> we need a better performance. Pickleball? <laughs> Samantha doesn't know pickleball. Ooh, snooker. We're out of facts. We're back to just guessing words. Snooker. Snooker. Maybe we're the British sport? Marco? Polo. Fish out of water? No. We're diving into the hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, riding through the weeds. I was yeah. hoping we'd get a better score. Or oh. maybe if we practice our archery, we'll hit the bullseye. That guess was complete. Bulls. Maybe if we had a clearer goal. I feel like we're shooting ourselves in the foot. There's going to be a net positive game. That's a net negative score on that guess. Wittich. Competitive eating. Ring fencing these guesses. Break dance. Forty spice. I socky at this gamey. Elite. 
Oh. Yeah, I would have thought you'd have solved the word by now. I didn't know we would venture down this path. Are we wrestling with the answer? 121 guesses since badminton, and we're no closer. Why is badminton so good? Judo is as good as badminton. Weightlifting. Snowboarding. No, we're getting further away. We're in the summer. We're enjoying the weather. Not quite hitting shuttlecocks. We're not quite judo wrestling, but we are... Ball. Climbing. Aerobatics. Healing. I don't know any more sports. Chess! I just pulled out <laughs> chess from nowhere. Why is chess like judo and badminton? I don't understand. I thought I'd try a board game. I threw out chess. Who's a famous artist that drew chess, Sarah? Um, Salvador Dali loves his checkerboards. Can you Google if that's true? Really? Actually? Yes, you got that right as well. Salvador Dali. Oh, I got it right again. <laughs> loves his checkerboards. Wow, well, me pulling out all these subliminal art facts. Mm. Who knew? Who knew, Tom? Surrealist paintings. There's melting clocks, as you'd expect, with Mr. Dali. Wow, I got the chess thing right. Uh, Tom, we should have we should have kept with Salvador. We should have we, we stayed kept with, with Salvador. Art theme, and then we would have explored Salvador Dali. Tom, oh, why did you go down the wrong path? We should have stayed. We should with, have stayed with art. But old sportsy alpha male over here had to go down the sports road. Oh, we're not doing art. We're doing sports today. I mean, I guess chess is a combination of art and sport. Sometimes a sport is more art than sport. Thanks for watching. Were you able to checkmate this game by getting the word chess? She's shaking her head at me. Make sure you give the video a like to show how much you appreciate the effort that the lovely Sarah's put in. She'll be back in a week or so. I'll be back tomorrow. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>